<laughs> now this is the, the this is the winners turn. finals here. <laughs> so whoever wins this goes on to the grand finals. Starting on underground cemetery as is standard. Now, Jesse likes a fairly aggressive start on Underground Cemetery, from my experience, and that was fairly this, aggressive. This time it seems like no exception, really. Just going for those defensive builds and aggressive approaches, just not letting Robbie come at him at all. Crossing sides as Robbie tries to make it up the other side of the map. Seem to have the complete lockdown on the build here. Just denying Robbie of everything he tries. Your thoughts, John? Well, it's extremely hard to follow Jesse. Oh, but Robbie gets gets that block and it just puts him ahead that little bit. Yeah. And now Jesse's in the difficult power position. Powering ahead and Jesse's a bit stuck here with no create a block to put down. Oh, there's the... Oh, and the X Factor comes into play, but it's too late, and this is our first top of the stage climb we've seen all day. Hopefully so, there'll be more of these. Two of Puck's best players just really going at it here. Good luck And Robbie just very slippery, staying in front most of the match here, just by- Oh, good defensive build by Jesse. How will Robbie deal with this? Oh, he might be able to deal with it like this, from the look of things. But will it be enough? No, I think Jesse's, Jesse's very close the to the deal. top of the stage. This might be it! There it is! <laughs> Twice now in this match, they've made it to the top of the stage. I think this time will be no different. Robbie going for an unusual start. I haven't seen him use that ever before. But it has really put Jesse on the back foot. But a possible execution problem has undone a lot of that hard work. Oh, good push, good push. And now we've got some fights going. Oh! So, very, very even match there, um, you know, the lead swapping between players constantly. Yeah, it'd be and interesting to see what stage gets counterpicked. Absolutely. We are going to the torture chamber. Oh, and torture chamber as I thought, favorite. Robbie's, Robbie's been downplaying his torture chamber prowess most of the day, but he's actually very comfortable on this stage. So, the mind game's there. Round one, ready, go! I have reached the loser. Oh, with the dark block. Ooh. Really making things do. Oh! 
Oh, and he's got him. Now, you might not know, but in this situation, both players will drop at the same time, but Blue Sheep will actually take the victory. So all Rubby has to do is sit and wait and rock out on top of the orange. This is this is why Robbie's preferred sheep is the blue. You'll see that the blue sheep just falls at half speed there for some reason. Weird glitch of the game, but it makes blue generally considered the top tier sheep. And our screens just disappeared, but it's back now. Oh, and Jesse goes for pulling on a spike block. It happens to the best of us, and it has cost him the stage. Can you go to the beginning stage again? You can. But instead, Jesse picks Spiral Corridor. So we'll see how Ravi feels about this one, because... Yeah. <laughs> Just beat him down. Round one. Ready? Go! What punishment awaits the loser? In the standard blocking of the path there. The start of torture chamber. Rummy picks himself up a dark block that will be very useful, or it won't. Oh, but now he's got something just as good, particularly for Spiral Corridor, which is quite a tough one to build. Oh, and Jesse contesting that. That X Factor priority, you just can't do that. You just can't. A tight spot here. Oh, and he might be out. This is what happens when you counter pick Robbie on the spiral corridor. Gutsy move, but. You really got to be able to work through it. And again, that standard start there from Jesse, but Robbie deals with it just fine and gets ahead. Robbie making himself some space, but Jesse's coming up very quickly but gives Robbie the breathing space he needs to keep climbing. Long staircase here, and will he be able to get on top of it though? Shame, that X Factor looking just so tempting, but so far away. Now they've got... One... One more match here. Or two more, depending on the outcome, but... Cathedral, we're going to see some... Some of Perth's best cathedral here. Now, both of these guys have <laughs> some... Both of these guys have options for unconventional starts, so we'll see how they deal with the, uh... Typical tug-of-war that happens in the middle of cathedral. Yeah, it's good. Round one, ready, go! Both of them just going for the normal start, that awful tug of war. Now, Robbie misses his opportunity on it, but he might pull out something different instead. And that's the start Robbie needed to get up first. But he's somehow fallen behind. Now we get to the tricky climbing of Cathedral. It's a difficult stage. 
And that X Factor isn't even helping out all that much. Which says a lot about climbing this stage. Robbie gets lucky with some of those falling blocks, and then his luck runs out. Oh, oh wow. Oh my! <laughs> it seems Jesse got stabbed by a cathedral. Robbie with the bridge start. Very aggressive play, very difficult to deal with. Jesse now scared of the bridge, he goes for the other side. Oh, and Rob in a difficult situation, but not as... Oh, they're, they're both... Oh my! Very clutch, very clutch. And that's that's Jesse into the losers finals and Robbie on to the grand finals.